Hello, pretty people. So in this lot, I'm going to go over mm, Eco Thrift and Community. I think this was a span over three different visits, maybe two for sure, maybe three. So I have a lot of different um, pieces. And if I have showed some in my previous videos, I apologize. I I don't think I have, but um, I just have thousands of pieces of jewelry, literally, that sometimes I, you know, I can't, I can't keep a uh, track. Like I know um, what bags I've gone through, obviously, because. Um, because they're opened. Okay, so I can't talk right now. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with this brooch. I know I haven't showed you guys this brooch. This was not 99 cents. She was a lot more than that. But isn't she fabulous? She is a gray faceted cut glass pin and there is no maker's mark and so I got this pin with the intention of this is a surprise I'm doing a giveaway I just wanted to show my appreciation for all um, the supporters and you know just for the, the love I get and you know it really means a lot to me so I'm actually going to be giving this away. So if you want a chance at winning this, comment down below. You have to be subscribed, obviously. But you have to be a subscriber. Comment down below. And I will... Let's see here. Hmm. I will upload this video today. Today's Monday. I will release uh, the... I'll pick the winner. Hmm. Saturday so you guys have till Friday night right Friday night to enter um yeah so if you're not a huge brooch you know like if you're some if you're somebody's like oh it's okay you know um then I'll have in the future other giveaways to something that you may like I just want some I want this to go to to go to a good home you know so um if you really like this piece, I mean, I love it. To be honest with you, I really want to keep it. <laughs> she's fabulous. And she's such a pretty color that like she could go against anything with mixed metals. And uh, she's just, she's great. You don't have to wear these on clothes. You could put them on your purse. You can put these, um, you could do whatever you want with them. You could uh, put these as like a pop socket on the back of your phone. Actually, that would be a great idea too. Um, it's yours, but I wanted to go to a well-deserving home. So you guys comment down below. And um, Saturday, I will pick the lucky winner. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to um, jump in to the pieces I got. Okay, so... Here, this isn't the price for that. Here we have some pins, and I got this at Community. This was $5.99. I was drawn to this beautiful hummingbird. Look at how gorgeous she is. I have not come across one where the wings span in the front. And before I got her, I made sure all her stones were there. Sometimes I will pick them up if they have a missing stone. It's just I have so many pieces to fix and not enough time, you know. So um, I don't believe she does have a maker's mark. But isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I love this. This one says dance. And actually, I'm, if nobody's interested in buying this, I'm going to give this to um, my niece. I have, I have, they're into dance. So I have a couple, 
couple nieces that are into dance. So maybe they could put it on their backpack or something. But that's really cute. And here we have this little very Victorian style, but it's not as old, um, pen. For $5.99, I mean, alone the bird was worth the $5.99, so... Okay, so moving on. This one was $7.99. I was immediately drawn to this piece. We have the faceted triangles on the side. There's an open back right there. I think this is just plastic. Yeah, it's plastic, but look at how Art Deco that is. It is fabulous. That's fabulous. I love it. And then um, we have these other pins. I don't believe... Uh, does this have any missing? I don't believe... This, this has any missing. But... This reminds me of like a listener or a trafari. It's a really pretty piece. The, the cool thing about this style of brooch is it could go um, horizontal or it could go vertical. Like that's a cool design. Okay, so these are the pieces. I'm not sure if I showed in the previous video. If I did, sorry, I apologize. Um... I got this from Eco Thrift. This is a Betsy Johnson. Um, it's in excellent condition. It has the leopard heart charms. And this lovely thing was 75% off of that amount. So I still paid a good amount. But I'm um, most certain that I will make that and a few extra pennies. And she's in really good condition. She's a clasp right here. And she's marked Betsy Johnson. Right there. She just needs a battery. And she has some weight to her. So she's like a, a charm watch. And then this, which I was like blown away. I was like, Talbots? I think I've showed, maybe if I showed this in a previous video. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? I think I did. Because I was having a hard time taking the pin out. Okay, well, we're looking at her again, if I did. And uh, she's gorgeous. I would have, if this didn't come with the card, I would have for sure thought that this was a, a vintage, vintage piece. We have some greens, yellows, blues, and pinks. Perfect for spring. Okay, so then I saw this, and where is, this one was $5.99, yeah, there's the price tag, and it opens up like a cuff, but it kind of closes, like a clamp, and look at how cool this design is, with the butterfly, it's enamel, and she has a watch, Cardini. The plastic's still on there. Plastic is on the back. She's fabulous. And that was, to me, that was a great buy. Then I got this um, turtle stretch bracelet. And what drew me, I didn't know it was turtles right away. What drew me to it was the fact that I seen tri-metals. There, it's not real like gold or silver, but we have the copper color, the silver color, and the gold. And look, they have little center stones. Look at that design. And I believe this one was only $2. It's just, it looks so fun, doesn't it? Just all the work and the detail. Could have been at a tourist place, but, you know. Um, let me see here. I picked this up. 
this was actually 99 cents. So I, I wasn't really keen on picking her up, but I did like the glass hearts. And it has different charms as a key. Um, I don't think this opens up. Maybe it's trying to emulate like an egg. A snowflake. And it's like, how could you not pick this up for a dollar? And if somebody doesn't like some of these charms, they could replace them. But I do like the hearts on there. Okay. So in that same trip, I found this ring. And she is... A, oh, sorry guys. I still have the chemical stain. She's adorable. Look at She's just aligned with hearts and this is a size uh, she's about a five she's a five so she's a small small little one but she's so pretty it is marked inside. I don't know what the brand is. I can't read it. It's like Sap or Sar or something. Very cute. Okay. Then I got this. And this, I believe, was... I think $2.50 or $3. And this is in very good condition. And it's like... It's not plastic. It's enamel over metal. And it's a black and white vintage flower okay then I picked up this ring um I don't know if that was the price to her she was around that much like a couple bucks okay so I have Ugh, the chemical looks so ugly I gotta get my nails redone okay so she's tiny she's probably like a five but look, she's like a, there's a name for this ring. So if you guys know it, comment down below. But let's, she reminds me of milk glass. She's just acrylic, white acrylic, and the stones are there. Let's see where she's at though. Yeah, so she's a five. So anybody that uh, wears a five. That would be really cool. I guess my pinky's bigger than a five. Probably like a six or something. But she's almost, I'm probably like a five and a half, five and three quarters. So she's, I just think she's so cool. She does have, um, does she have any wear? A little bit right here. Not too, not too much. Okay. Then I picked up this ring. This one was six dollars, and look at that. I just, oh, I just like the design. I like how it's long. It's, it's a, it's a very, very pretty. All the stones are there. And she is going to be a size oh my gosh she's smaller than a five she's like four and three quarters <laughs> these are petite fingers I'm sure somebody has a pinky size that's not as big as mine okay and two more rings before I show the rest this is actually a park, um, I want, I always want to say Park Avenue. It's Park Lane, the brand. And this is their star glow ring. And this one's actually a hard one to find. So she is almost six. She's about five and three quarters, five and three quarters. She's a rare one to come across. There's no other person who has her for sale um, that I that I could find. And she is list, she is shown on Pinterest. A lot of times Pinterest will put the the older pieces, like at least 20 plus years old. Like, oh, if you come across this one, you know. 
And then I got this one for $5.99. And I got this for a friend. So this one's not for sale. And I'm not sure if she's, the stones are on the side. Okay, focus. The stones are on the side. I'm not sure if she's going to want me to repair if she's going to want me to go ahead and do it or if she's going to do it herself. The stones. We just need to add a couple stones. It's like, um, I don't know, kind of like Buddha, Mandalay, Cambodian style, Thailand, you know. And I kind of like the worn uh, paint off of her. But she could be repainted. Or he. Look at that. Very, very fun. And I believe this one is adjustable. Let me see here. Yeah, it's adjustable. So not for sale, guys. This one's going to my friend. Okay. Um, I got this necklace. I just thought it was fun. I really like the sides. This one was $3.99. All the stones are there. Okay, so let's move this to the side. And they are seahorses. They have like a, um, this is a faux stone. It's, um, it's trying to emulate, um, Oh my god, I can't think. Lapis. Lapis. And I, I don't have a gem tester, but that's trying to emulate um, malachite with lapis. Isn't this fun? I wish it was like all the way up, these seahorses. Like, ugh, that, that would have just like did her justice, you know? Very, very nice. <clears throat> now, this one is not for sale. This one is mine. And I don't think nobody would want to buy it anyways. She was not discounted. I guess I did pay the $20 for her. And I have come across these pieces. But the thing that makes this different is that see the glass stones on top, how they're flat. There's no point. There's no facet cut on top. I have never seen one where they're all flat. And she is like a pink AB. She is gorgeous. No maker's mark, but it, to be honest with you, it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if she was like a Weiss or a Trafari. Probably have to do a little bit more investigating. And I actually put her okay, there was two brooches. There was this one and another clear rhinestone and it had like a it, it was just a very unusual style but they wanted 25 for that one and I was like mm. so you know with two brooches that would have been already close to 50 and I, I just I couldn't I was up my my bag was already full with probably over $100 at the store so um, I did put her back with the other brooch and then when I was at the register, I know the lady there. Her name is Beatriz. And I go, Beatriz, give me the wreath, the pink wreath. She goes, okay. <laughs> she knows I love brooches. I just, I had that feeling like I'm going to regret it. I'm going to come back, wait for it to go on sale, and it's not going to be there. And it's, I've never come across this. Okay. So then they had this really fun pin brooch. They're frogs with lilies. And I believe I got this 25% off. And it's JJ. And JJ has some really fun pieces. I really wish... Like, I collect brooches, but I'm more of, like, the gaudy rhinestone or the old, old, you know, C-class Victorian Edwardian style. I really wish I had... I had a collection of JJ, but no, I just, I come across some fun pieces and, you know, I sell them, but I haven't come across this one. So this one was fun. Okay, two more. So I know these could go for some fair money. This was half off. And so was it half off or 70? I think it was half off. Yeah. 
So I remember growing up, these were a trend, these little people, these little people charms. I think maybe my mom had them. So the triangle is a girl and the circle is a boy. This is an angel. These are all on sterling. I don't know what kind of crystals these are, if they're Swarovskis or, you know, Peridot, Ruby, Sapphire, I don't know. This is, this chain is um, sterling, but I'm probably going to sell them individually unless somebody's like, I want them all. I don't, this, this is not silver. These little um, spacers are just like a plastic. And so, yeah, got that one. And then for the final piece, I remember seeing these lovely clip-ons. And I waited till they went um, discounted. I just, I couldn't, I, I really liked them, but I couldn't, you know, I don't know. I think I had other purchases and, you know, it just, I wasn't going to come to terms with spending $10, even though it is worth it. Um, but look at, these are like little pitchers, water pitchers. All the stones are there. So I got these for half. And when they were discounted, I seen them and I told Beatrice, I want the Cantina earrings. <laughs> She's like, okay. Because she, she doesn't know. I was like, I just, I have appreciation for certain pieces like this. So there you have it, guys. So don't forget, comment down below for a chance to win this beautiful brooch. You will have till Friday night. And I'm on the East Coast. Wait. Oh, my God. I'm so reversed. I'm on the West Coast. Jesus. Pacific time. So Friday night, that's it. Okay? Um, I will be doing the picking the winner on Saturday. So stay tuned. And, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show my appreciation of my supporters. And every now and then I want to kind of just do that. Just... Just for fun, you know. Um, I think it makes it exciting. Um, it gives something to look forward to. And as the movement continues with this channel, I would love to do um, a, a lot, lot more giveaways. So, guys, in closing, um, thank you for watching. Com um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe down below. Isn't this great, all these pieces? And I'll see you in the next one. Soho, California Vintage, signing off.